How's it going Elden Lords? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an awesome armor set for your mage class at Windmill Village. This is a really cool mage headpiece and it does give you some really cool benefits and it does have some really nice stats. On top of that, it's actually pretty damn good looking and what you do get is the full set. So where do you actually get this? Well, as you can see on screen, you get this from Windmill Village and you'll see that on the map now. As you can see, Windmill Village is located here on the map. And what we're gonna do is also show you the exact location you need to go to it via the actual map. We're gonna put a way marker there. This will probably be the easiest way to just navigate there. Otherwise you can just follow the video, but placing a way marker at that location is where you wanna go. So basically, once you've done this, exit the map. And what you wanna do is head over in that direction. Keep going, it's not a long trek, you'll get there pretty soon. And at the top of the actual cliffside, you're gonna see an NPC. This NPC is the one that you need to defeat. Defeating him gives you the full set. So pretty much, once you're there, the NPC that you're about to fight is actually a mage. So if you're a melee, this will be pretty simple. Or if you've been using my super mage build, then this build here that you're seeing here makes quick work of it. Now we did of course not use our Kamehameha, but we did use the big blade. If you want to see a build based on this elemental attack we're using here, then let me know in the comment section below and we'll make that happen. So what is so good about this set? So the description reads for this set, increases intelligence and strength to the detriment of FP. Now, if we're looking on the right at the moment, you see that strength has gone up to 29 and intelligence to 90. This has given you a plus two for strength and a plus two for intelligence. So strength was 27 and has gone to 29 and intelligence was 88 and has gone to 90. Now this is a pretty damn good piece, but it does say to the detriment of FP. Now our FP, as you can see right now, is 273. If we are not equipping this item, it becomes 300. That is the difference here. It is a 27 difference in FP. You do lose 27. Now, if you're using the Wondrous Flask of Physic and you have your 10 seconds of immunity to FP, this really is not a problem. Now, for some of you early game, this might be a problem, but in the grand scheme of things, 27 FP isn't that big of a deal to lose. And overall, this is a really, really nice piece that you can actually use and get away with. Unlike other pieces where you lose a lot of stamina as well, I think this is probably one of the best mage head pieces in the game. That said, you let me know what you think in the comment section below and let's have that discussion. Of course, if you've tried this headpiece, do let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. Next, we're going to go and visit our two favorite golems and show you a showcase. We're just going to knock these guys out just to show you the magical output in effect. Of course, two extra intelligence may not be that much in difference, and obviously it's not affecting the abilities, but the damage output is increasing that bit more. And finally, how does the complete armor set look? And that's what I wanted to finish off with at the end. So here we are with the full armor set. It looks pretty snazzy, it looks pretty good, and it puts you into that kind of mage looking robe. The body piece is a battle mage, and it looks all right, it looks pretty good. So you let me know what you think in the comment section below, and let's have that discussion. If you did find this video useful, do hit that like, subscribe, and post notification bell so you receive all content I release and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe everyone and as always, stay frosty and remain legend. Peace out.